Portugal, a small country in the southwest corner of Europe. Its vibrant and historic capital, Lisbon, lies at the mouth of Iberia's largest river, the Tagus. The estuary and its associated marshes provide wonderful habitat within sight of Lisbon for a multitude of birds. Just 20 minutes from the city lie some of the best bird-watching sites in Europe. The Tagus Estuary Nature Reserve comprises a mosaic of habitats ranging from mudflats, salt marshes, salt pans, rice fields, to cork oak woods, pasture, reed beds and freshwater lagoons. The Tagus, together with the nearby Sado Estuary, are key protected areas for wintering and migrant water birds of many species. Huge flocks of wildfowl, shorebirds and gulls gather in these seasons. They are joined by parties of greater flamingos, glossy ibises and white storks that can number in their thousands. These wetlands also provide crucial breeding habitat for both resident birds and summer visitors from the African continent. The vast areas of rice fields attract a range of species that include purple heron, Eurasian spoonbill and gull-billed tern, among many others. Drainage channels, ditches and ponds provide a network of wetland favoured by red-crested pochard, the localised squacko heron, blue throat and the ubiquitous Sardinian warbler. The contrasting cork oak woodland holds many charismatic breeding species. In particular, these woods are the European stronghold of the black-winged kite a spectacularly different raptor, dressed in silvery grey and black, enhanced by a piercing ruby red eye. Other common species that are also found here include hoopo, spotless starling, European serin, and booted eagle. Further up the river Tagus, about 30 kilometers from its mouth, egrets, herons, spoonbills and ibises nest in spectacular colonies. The dominant species are cattle and little egrets, but among them are smaller numbers of squacko and black-crowned night herons. With a drive of little more than one hour, the landscape is transformed from wetland to the parched regions of the Alentejo steppe. Central to this area are the Castro Verde Plains, where a quartering Montague's Harrier is a frequent sight. And the normally cautious little bustard performs its striking displays. Characteristic species here are Calandra lark, corn bunting, the crepuscular stone curlew, and little owl. A southern grey shrike waits to spot its insect prey. The beautiful European roller is a scarce breeding species while the more numerous and even the more colourful European bee-eater is another hole-nesting species, but it excavates its own.
white storks favor utility poles on which to build their nests, and these bulky structures in turn are used by both house and Spanish sparrows as breeding sites. Dissecting the dry grasslands are small dams and streams that are oases, where black-bellied sand grouse come to drink, and collared pratincoles seek out the bare ground on which to make their nest scrapes. The brilliant common kingfisher is totally dependent upon these water sources for its fish diet. while the late-breeding, rufous-tailed scrub robin sets up its territory among the oleanders. Supreme among the steppe birds is the majestic Great Bustard, the heaviest flying bird in the world. The spectacular display of the male reaches a climax in an extraordinary explosion of feathers. Seldom seen, except by bird watchers, the red-necked nightjar spends its waking hours in the cover of darkness. Imperceptibly, the steppe merges into open woodland, known locally as Montado. Here, flocks of common cranes spend the winter months attracted by the fallen acorns from the cork and home oaks. Others to look out for include great spotted cuckoo, woodchat shrike, black-eared wheat ear, and the threatened turtle dove. The ancient town of Mertola stands high above the river Guadiana. In the town, pallid swifts, martins and swallows long ago adopted human structures on which to build their nests. Perhaps the most charismatic urban breeder here is the endangered lesser kestrel. This charming small falcon has suffered a serious decline across its range but continues to hold its own and may even be increasing in the Alentejo. Outside the town, invasive eucalyptus trees line the river Guadiana and are a favoured nesting site of the elusive golden oriole. North of Mertola, the river Guadiana carves a canyon through the soft bedrock, creating ledges and crevices ideal for rock-loving species. The eagle owl is especially fond of cliffs near water, where it remains inconspicuous and is best located by call. More easily found are the aptly named blue rock thrush and rock bunting, though the shy black stork is another rare breeding species. The rugged habitat is much favoured by large raptors, and the concentration of species here is especially impressive. Griffon and Eurasian black vultures ride the thermals and roost on rocky outcrops. Extinct as a breeding bird in Portugal for many years, the Eurasian black vulture has recently returned to nest successfully in the Alentejo. The magnificent Spanish imperial eagle, perhaps Iberian imperial eagle would be a more appropriate name, is one of the rarest raptors in the world and is endemic to the Iberian Peninsula. 
It shares its habitat with the slightly smaller but no less fierce Bonelli's eagle, and also with the equally splendid golden eagle. The success of these species is based upon the abundance of prey items such as rabbits and red-legged partridges. To the south, just 60 minutes away, the wetlands of the sun-drenched Algarve await. The coastline is studded with salt pans so attractive to many species of shorebirds. Special among the gulls are Audwin's gull, which is confined to the Mediterranean region as a breeding species, and slender billed gull, which is rarely seen elsewhere in Portugal. Caspian terns regularly winter in the Algarve, where the immature ones are sometimes seen still accompanying a parent. Freshwater lagoons form a special habitat that is frequented by the extraordinary purple swamp hen. Once almost extinct in Portugal, it is a conservation success and is now numerous in several of the lakes that border the coast. Much more secretive is the little bittern, a migrant from Africa that breeds exclusively in dense reed beds. A few find the Algarve so much to their liking that they remain to overwinter. The coastal pine woods are a characteristic habitat much loved by the endemic Iberian magpie that typically roams the countryside in noisy family parties. Here, you may even be lucky enough to discover a highly camouflaged Mediterranean chameleon. Surrounding it all, Lisbon, the Alentejo and the Algarve is the Atlantic Ocean. Particularly in late summer and early autumn, the sea around southern Portugal is especially rewarding for seabirds, with shearwaters, storm petrels, gannets and skewers all passing through. Within its compact area, Southern Portugal offers beautiful countryside, a fascinating history, delightful food, great wine, a pleasant climate and a guaranteed warm welcome. <laughs>